Hi guys, and today what we're going to try to do is get iMovie 8 on our G4 Cube. Now you know last time I did the PowerPC challenge which included the 68K Max and I produced a video on the Cube. But however, that G4 Cube will only run iMovie 6 natively because that was the last official version for the PowerPC Max. However, there is a hack to get it on unsupported Macs. So if you have a G4 or G5 machine, you can get iMovie 8 on it. Now I've not tried this yet. We're gonna try it and see how it works. And I found this on the internet and it's relatively detailed how you do it. And I'll share the link with you where to find it and where to download everything. And I'll be back in a moment. So I found this link off of Mac Rumors, and then it took me to another link, and I will share this with you. But a gentleman found a way to get this to work. I think it'd be fantastic to get the current version that I could on the G4 system, especially the Cube, because the difference between iMovie 6 and iMovie 8, there's quite a bit of difference. It'll, it would give me more options, and it also gives you the ability to upload to YouTube, which that's good. And this will also support 1080p, which iMovie 6 only supports 720p. That's another reason. Now, I'm not going to be editing videos on my cube all the time, but I thought it would be kind of a neat little thing. I have already um, iLife on it already. It runs pretty good. So where I downloaded the iLife 9, I went to Macintosh Garden, and I downloaded it from there. And again, I will leave a link to their site. And what I did is I downloaded it on a USB drive, and I also downloaded, and then you're going to need another app called MacUpdate.com. You're going to need to install this from the iMovie package from the official iLife 09 installer DVD. But obviously I don't have one, so I downloaded it from Macintosh Garden. And then also we're going to need iMovie Zip. This is a pre-tweaked iMovie file, and this is going to assist the trickery for us getting the iMovie 8 on the G4 Cube. So what we're going to do is, I've already got everything downloaded on a USB drive. I'm going to plug it in the USB hub that I have, and I'm going to download it on the desktop on my Cube in Leopard. And it will take quite a bit of time to do that, because it's only USB 2, and then when it's done copying to the desktop, I will show you what we're going to do next. So the things you're going to need first is you're going to have to download some things. And this is the application. It's called Packlist app. This is the older version. I'll give you the link to download this. And then we'll also what we're going to need is the iMovie zip document. So we got that. And then the last, obviously, is the iLife 09 installer DMG. Now this one takes a while to download because it's a, almost a five gigabyte file. These are pretty quick. These are the three things you're gonna need to get this to work. So what we're gonna do is I've already copied these on a USB drive. And now what I'm gonna do is stick it in the seven port powered USB hub that I have attached to the cube. And if you haven't seen that video, I will put a link up here on the review of it. And we'll be right back. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, plug this in the USB powered hub here. And it's going to take a few seconds for it to pop up on the screen here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, install it. And as you can see now, it's already been recognized. There it is right there. And this has got all the stuff we need on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag this onto the desktop. So what we're going to do first is we're going to put the uh, iLife on here. We're going to put it in here. And it's going to take a little time for it to copy over because we're only at USB 2 speed and we'll be back when that's done. Now what you'll need to do, the website that I went to, it just has the two newer versions of this application that we need to install it and we had to get an older version. So again, I'll give you the website link and it tells you right here and it tells you right here. This will tell you whatever operating system you're running, uh, you can do it as a zip 
or disk image format. And it gives you OX 10.8, OX 10.6.8 through 10.7.5 on a 64-bit Intel Core Dual 2 or better. You download this one. Now we're doing the PowerPC, so I'm running Leopard, which is 10.5.8, and you can see this one here. The next one is for 10.67 to 10.68 Snow Leopard, but I need the older version yet. So we're going to download this one here. This is the latest version of Tiger, and this is a Snow Leopard. Leopard, download it because this is a 32-bit app we're going to do it as a zip so I've already downloaded it and we are ready to install it on the cube we've got all the things that we need here we have our little pack first installer we'll need that to open up the iMovie iLife 09 install DMG so uh, what we're gonna do is we are going to take and we're going to so what we're going to do is we're going to use this to install iMovie click this Okay, so we got that installed in the Applications folder. Let's open up Applications here. And let's open that up there. Check. Okay, so we're done uh, opening that up. So now what we want to do is we want to open up the contents and let's see, this is what we want, iMovie, that's what we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, install. And yes, we want to install the entire contents of iMovie. Okay, looks like we finished it. So now what we need to do is we need to close that. And get out of that. And then what we have to do first is we have to update this. Okay, it's version 8. I just want to make sure it was version 8. So what we want to do now, since we got it selected, is go to the uh, software update. And supposedly it's going to uh, update it. 
before we actually put the patch on it. Okay, so there's the update. So we want to update that. Okay, so we are updated to iMovie. I was going to check for some more updates here, but we don't have any. We'll just, we'll just cancel that because we already updated it. So let's click out of that. And we can go to iMovie. We don't want to open the application yet. And we can just verify that uh, it is iMovie 8.0.6. Yep, that's right. So we're updated. Great. Okay. So now what we're going to do, go to step four. It says don't run iMovie yet. And we've already downloaded the pre tweaked iMovie file, iMovie zip. So what it says is once you download it, you need to uh, change the name of the file and then zip it. So let's take a look here. I'll close that. And this is the iMovie zip doc. So what it's saying is we need to change the name on that. So it wants us to just call it. Um, iMovie zip. Alright, so we will do that. iMovie zip. And then unzip it. And then we're going to open it up. And then we have this iMovie file. Now it says go to Applications, iMovie, right click the icon, show the package contents. Right click, show package contents. Ah, there it is right there. Okay. So we got to put it in there. All right. And we're going to replace it. And then it says go into System Preferences under Accounts. And we want to make sure give full access to this. close this and we'll get out of this then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, X out all this here and we should be able to launch iMovie if we did everything right we'll find out Wow, it's working. <laughs> All right, nice. On the first try, too. Very good. We're just going to let this do its thing here. It's up the updating thumbnails. But the nice thing about this version is it gives you a lot more flexibility. We'll be able to uh, upload on this directly. It might take a week, but it will upload. That's awesome. We're going to let us do its thing here. We'll be back. Okay, so we finished doing our import to iMovie, the new version, uh, iMovie 8, but 
aka iMovie 9, because that's what it goes by, but really it's iMovie 8, but it comes in iLife 9, so it's iMovie 9. And that is absolutely the, far as I know of, this is the absolute last version you can put on a G4 Power Mac. G4, G5s. So we're going to get rid of that one there, because we don't want to see that window again. We'll close that. And you can see that it imported all the videos and photos that I have in the iMovie. So that is fantastic. And like I said, this has a lot of nice features. We will actually be able to upload to uh, YouTube directly, which is pretty cool. And that would have been a whole lot easier than trying to uh, copy this rendered movie on a thumb drive, put it on my modern Mac, drop it into a blank shell of iMovie, putting the beginning and the ending on it, and uploading it to YouTube. So now it could all be done right from here. Granted it won't be very fast, but we have the capability now. And you can see we have all the transitions, titles, this is the uh, photos that I have in here as well as the uh, videos. You can see everything in there, last import. And then of course, then we have music because I have my music library already on this cube. Yeah, I think this is awesome. And just double check right here about iMovie. iMovie 9 version 8.0.6. And this has a lot more usability than iMovie HD 6. This is going to be really cool. I'm going to, have to try. I'm going to do a, a video on it. See uh, how it works. So, like I said, this is for the unsupported Macs for G4, G5 machines. This will run just fine. You can see it right here. Now, I don't know about G3s. I don't think it supports G3s, but G4, G5 machines, no problem. Follow the directions, and if you want to get iMovie on your older machine hey this is the way to do it i've been doing a little research online there are actually a couple other ways to do it but to me this is by far the easiest way to do it so i hope you really like this video um i learned a lot i hope you guys learned a lot and if you like the video please give me a thumbs up i really appreciate it and please subscribe and click the bell and also we are on MeWe and twitter reach out to me there. Please follow me on Twitter. I really appreciate it. And you guys have a great rest of your day. This is Tuesday, my day off. And I thought, well, I'll make a video and share with you guys. Until then, you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye.